Back at a sold-out Georgia Dome in Atlanta for the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. The fans are waiting the arrival of their teams with anticipation. And the champions of the West in the SEC who came up just a game short of being the conference champs, the LSU Tigers. some big games in this building and they've lost some big games in this building. They hope for the former tonight. And on the other side with the very familiar smoke we've seen over the years from the ACC, the Miami Hurricane. Chance for them tonight to defend their Peach Bowl crown. And Skyler Green, and there he is, number five. Keep that number in mind all night long. Triple-A Peach Bowl in Atlanta. And as the flash bulbs go off, we're underway. Kick's going to go out of bounds at the one-yard line, and that'll give. And the starting lineups, that whole left side of the line, either first or second team, all SEC, Whitworth, Arnold, Nicewager, Livings, and Johnson across the front wall. David Jones, the tight end. Bo is the big play receiver along with Craig Davis. And in the backfield, Joseph Adai has been banged up, but he's as healthy as he's been in a long time. Stelts the fullback. And Matt Flynn, who, how big must those butterflies feel right now? Maybe one snap will get it out of his system. First down, LSU. That's a toss to a guy going left side. Got a big game. Almost 10 before he's run out of bounds by Kenny Phillips. And here's how they stack up. Up front, Atkins and Harris. Carroll, Calais Campbell making his first start at left defensive end at 6'8". The linebackers, McIntosh, their leading tackler, Davis and Beeson. And in the secondary, some experience and some youth. Jennings, Phillips, Merriweather, and Maxey, who's been really coming on this year. Adai will motion out of the LSU backfield. Flynn landed his first pass coming up right here. It's going to be a quick strike, and it's a completion and a first down inside the 40. And he couldn't have had a better way to start it, partner, right there. Adai into the middle of the Hurricanes defense, and he got decent yardage. All right, second down and seven here. The fullback going to the left off play action on the bootleg. Flynn's going to get rid of this one. Incomplete. Tigers on the year, 38% of their third down conversions. Miami might bring the blitz off the corner, and here they come. Flynn has it batted in the air, incomplete. Flynn ran off the field. He's the holder, has been all year. You forgot about now that Now he job. starts a quarterback. <laughs> he forgot he was the holder. Jackson will try a 50-yarder. The kick on the way, and he's going to push it to the left. And now the Canes will have pretty good field position with the missed field goal. He forgot he wasn't supposed to be throwing a spiral there. <laughs> First down Miami now. LSU shifting on their defensive front, and they're going to bring some pressure on right, and right got it away, and it's Quadrant Hill, the fullback. First down Miami. Here's the guys up front. We talked about Eric Winston, one of the best in the business. McMeans, Walschlager, Tella, and Butler across the front wall. The tight end and receivers, Greg Olson, one of the better tight ends around. Leggett getting a start with more outs. Sonoris Moss is their big play man. Charlie Jones took over from Tyro Moss. Kyle right at the controls, and we just saw Quadrant Hill. And now a toss to Devin Hester, who Swanee talked about, coming out of the tailback spot. So there's the wild card for LSU. The strength of this group is the two guys in the middle, Roten and Williams, Pittman and Oliver on the outside. Linebacking core, Highsmith and Vaughn and Hollis. And in the secondary, they line up like this. Jefferson, uh, Chevis Jackson and Ronnie Prude on the corners. LaRon Landry and Jesse Daniels are the safeties. Hester stays in there, tailback. Here's the toss to him. Looking for a blocker. And down he goes for a loss of four. And they were only 34% this year on third down conversions. Kyle right in the gun. Blitz coming. Over the middle to Hester, and he's breaking the tackle. He's got a first down and a bunch more. 
Devin Hester all the way down to the 26-yard line. LSU stall. We'll see if Miami's does or if they can put points on the board. Now it's Hester. Direct snap. Fake the throw. Devin got the corner anyway, and he's going to get another first down, and a flag flies in at the end of the play. To the sideline. Holding on the offense, number eight. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Spot foul. Comes back to the 26. First down. They're going to get the ground game going, and Charlie Jones loses two. Pellini came in and changed a lot of the uh, terminology, which is tough on a defense. LSU looked like they jumped into the neutral zone. They're going to get the sack, but I thought they were offside. Defense was offside. Five-yard penalty. Repeat second down. Close. Second down and seven. Right drops to throw to the middle. Completes it. So Ortega down to the 11-yard line. Ortega, the number two tight end, former quarterback. Nice job of the Canes chipping away to pick up this first down. There now, right, with time, throws complete down around the five-yard line to Sonora's Moss. Second down and four. Ortega, the motion man. Charlie Jones puts the brakes on, cuts inside the five. Third down and three, tenth play of the drive. LSU loading up their front. Here they come. Right to the end zone. Incomplete, yeah. no flag. I like the defense. John Petty, 14 to 19 of the year, gives us the first points of this 2005 Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. The field goal up and good. 21-yard field goal gives the Kings an early 3-0 lead here in the first quarter. Put out of bounds at the one, setting up LSU at the 35. This time he's got it straight away. Green's five yards deep, he'll take a knee. LSU's second offensive series. They moved it right down the field the first time before stalling and missing a 50-yard field goal. Lee gives it off to a guy, and a guy backs his way for about four yards. About the only thing that wasn't in the script was having that last pass of his batted down on the opening drive because the guy's been running it pretty well, which helps the cause. Or a quarterback draw, he's going to put it up again. Third down and three. Buster Davis comes in tight on the right side. Three wide out set, and now Davis will move on third down. Flynn has it batted in the air again. I don't know if it was the same play, but it sure looked pretty familiar. Ball's gone! Nice kick, but returnable. Fair catch called for, and Devin thought about taking off and then realized, wait a minute, this time he's got an eye backfield in there with Charlie Jones behind Quadron Hill. Play action. Right with all day. Going long. Got a man out there in Leggett, and he almost dragged it in. Pretty good coverage. Which was a high compliment to his abilities. Second down at 10. And here's... Devin Hester again, trying to take it wide. Nice job to stretch it out. Third down and 10. See what he does this time. There he is at the tailback position. And now he's motion. going to go in motion and empty that backfield with the exception of Kyle Wright in the gun. Wright wants to throw a slip screen to him and almost had it intercepted. And here comes a flag. There's no flag on the play. He was just testing his arm. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens when you have a whole a lot of time to prepare for a game. You got that right. You line up in strange formations. <laughs> Green made the first man miss. Looking for a wall. Look out. Oh, there's a flag down. Now the wall is there, but the wall is going to have an illegal block on it. Illegal block in the back on the return team, number 19. Ten-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. Welcome back to the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. 5.50 to go. First quarter. Raw play, a die. Got a nice lead block. Broken tackle, got out near the 28-yard line. As I said earlier, as healthy as he's been in quite a while, and he looks like it. Second and four, here he is again. Nice change of direction in the backfield, and he's very close to a first down. They bring in an extra tight end, Planchard, who's basically, well, he's in motion now, but he looks like a tackle. Now he sets up on that left side. They might be going that way. They do. First down and more. Good run. Yeah, two years back. Play action. They might want the big play Bob was talking about here. And now Matt Prince says, wait a minute, got a lot of field turf. All the way down to the 40-yard line. In fact, to the 39. LSU, four straight runs now. The first down back in Kane territory at the 39. 
Back to it on. And the captain of the offense. Here's Skyler Green at quarterback now. Getting ready for a direct snap a la Devin Hester. And he put a nice move on. Two in the backfield. Inside the 30. 25. What a run. Down to the 20-yard line. <laughs> That means you got to get it to him. Justin Vincent's checked in for him to give him a breather. Vincent at the tailback spot on first down. And Vincent with fresh legs. Nice run by him. He got almost five. Seven plays on the drive. All of them on the ground. Vincent again. Inside the 15. Fullback on the move and whistles on the clock. On the snap. Ball start, 71 offense. So it was moving Five in the yards, line. Livings, Davis, Bow, and Green all split to the right side. Third down and nine. Flynn flushed, throws, incomplete. So now Chris Jackson, who missed from 50. Seven out of 16 on the year. And he'll try a 37-yard field goal here to try to tie it up. Again, Matt Flynn, the quarterback, is the holder. Chris Jackson's kick on the way, and this one's right down Peachtree. 3-3. 58 seconds remaining in the first quarter. The LSU Tigers with a good drive, and they've drawn even with the Miami Hurricane. Jackson to kick. Hester and Jenkins are deep. Line drive. Taken at the four by Devin Hester. Don't give him any room. Flags are down. Hester's going down the sideline, but this one will come back as well. Flag. Multiple flags. Yeah, so. I think it was offside. Offside on LSU. This one takes a couple of bounces before Hester fields it at the six. Nowhere to hide this time, it doesn't appear. He's going to get swarmed under at about the 12-yard line. Not very good field position this time for the Kings, but that might improve right here in a hurry. Charlie Jones. Jones across the 40, all the way to midfield, and then so. Boy, that hole opened up on the left side. The pulling guard. Now Hester's in the backfield, and he'll come out of the tailback spot in motion on first down. Right, quick throw, and oh, that one is it. Second down and 10. Right to throw, maybe. Nope, he's going to have to run and get what he can, and he gets inside the 40. Good, tough first quarter. Kind of what we thought. Some big plays, but some tough defense. And at the end of one of the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, Miami 3, LSU 3. That's the good part about a bowl game in this situation. You're not playing for a national championship. And Hester starts at the tailback spot. Here he comes. Off tackle. And he got... Almost a first down run out of it. Hate to lose talented players, but they always have some behind them to step up. Fourth and inches. Nice play fake by Wright. He's going to run it. But he's not going to get there. This is the first year Kyle Wright's playing, but still, he's had 12 starts. You need to look for that first. Here's Flynn in his first start, and he's going to tuck it and take off as he did earlier in the game. And slides forward near midfield. And... Tonight, he's looked pretty good on his first start. Just on the Kane side of the 50, a die. Whoa! Hello, John Beeson. For Matt Flynn in the shotgun. He's missed his last four pass attempts. He's got this one complete, though. Close to a first down. They've got two tight ends, including Zinger. He's in motion. On third and short. On the ground. Flags are down. Looks good enough for the first down. The coach Illegal nuts. formation on the offense. Six men on the line of scrimmage. That'll really Five grab you nuts. Penalty. Formation Third problems. Down. Third down and seven. Gonna have to hustle to get the playoff, and now flags flying anyway. 68 offense. Five yards, third down. Flynn. Ball's going, going deep. He's got a man out there. Got him. Davis, touchdown. All the penalties just gave him more room to operate. And it's up and good. 
And now it's LSU, the SEC, with a big strike on a third and a mile. And Flynn threw it a mile. Davis on the receiving end. All right, Reese, thank you. 10-3 on the kickoff. It's Devin Hester taking it on the hop again at about the eight-yard line. And he is swarmed under again. Charlie Jones at the tailback spot. Lance Leggett in motion, and Jones gets the call on the left side. Broke a tackle or two. And the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl dating back to 1968 when it all started. They played a few of them at Grant Field in the mud. And they got AstroTurf at Grant Field. They moved it to Fulton County Stadium, and they played it in the mud. Quadrant Hill, the fullback. Out of the shotgun. Right across the middle. He's got Hester, and he's got open field. Devin Hester looking for, oh, what a block. Out to the 44-yard line. Throws it to the inside. Now watch this. Go. Oh, that hurts. Both can they get out of there. First down, Miami, and it's on 44. Right quick drop, quick throw, incomplete. I think that's one thing the college game needs to take a look at. I agree. Second and ten, a screen pass out the flat, Crockett Hill. Picks up his blockers and picks up a first down. So I said, we might be needing you somewhere down the line. Yeah. On the ground. And actually, he did not get the first down, so they're trying to pick it up. But they'll snap it to Monroe, and he'll kick it away. Field it on the run, fair catch. That defense that knocks out quarterbacks uh, seven or eight a string a couple of years ago, not me. At the 14-yard line, handoff, big opening for a dive. Across the 30-yard line and out to the 32. SU in front with nine minutes remaining first half. Nice play fake, Glenn's got a man wide open in the flat, and he got it complete to Jones, the tight end. They don't use the tight end a lot. Second down, long run. A guy just jumped through the hole, and he's all the way out near midfield. Well, we've just signed a new contract with the ACC that will uh, allow us to pick number two behind their BCS pick. So we feel very good about always getting a great kick. Uh, it's a it's a win-win situation for both of us. Coach, thank you very much. All right, man, nice to see you. Bennett, former head coach here in Atlanta and with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It's we ought to keep the name Peach in there, but, uh, you know, uh, money does funny things to people. <laughs> that will always be the Peach State, let's put it that way. A die and a run for a first down up the middle. Maybe trying to take command of this ball game in the first half here if they can get another touchdown. Carey is in at the tailback spot. They fake it to him, and Flynn's going to the corner of the end zone. Oh, yes, they're incomplete. I think he's been playing a little bit, but obviously he's not himself. Skyler Green, direct snap. He's going to run it on the inside to the 20-yard line where he runs into Willie Williams. And we got a half and 5.45 remaining. Third down and eight. Here, Here come. comes everybody. Flynn's in trouble, and down he goes. That one pays off. Brandon Merriweather on the safety blitz. Yeah. A 47-yard field goal attempt. He missed from 50 and hit a shorter one. Jackson's kick. On the way. Perfect. That's a beauty. 47-yard field goal. So LSU puts three more on the board. They stretch their lead to 10. And the SEC leads the ACC in the Chick-fil-A Beach Bowl in Atlanta. The fly. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson's kick deep. Hester over the shoulder. He says, I don't want any part of this one. Champ. First down at the 20. And the pass complete. Short gain, though. Second down at six. Quick throw. Whoa. And Leggett put the brakes on. You know, he had a slump earlier this year of not catching passes, and Larry Coker had to pull him aside and said, listen, you got to start catching the football. He might have that same conversation tonight. Kyle Wright just got leveled by Melvin Oliver. And news is now they're kicking to Skyler Green. If he gets an open field, look out. But it's a great punt by Monroe. Green's got to go way back to the 30-yard line. And they put him down right there. Boy, that was a great kick. 
Glenn may be changing things up in the line and drops back to throw. Plenty of time. Deep out. Nice pass. Got his man. Dwayne Bowe. And Bowe's down to the 35-yard line. He made a nice catch. Now they go on the ground to a dive. And he's inside the 30 to... Lens look good. A die again follows his blockers. And I'll tell you, Flynn's look good. One of those tight ends. Patchard in motion sets up now on the right side. And that's where it looked like they'd go, but a die changes his mind and his direction, and he's got another first down there. He came right back against the green, and he's got 90 yards on 16 carries. Flynn, play action, with time, and now running out of it. And getting rid of it, he was out of the pocket, incomplete. Out of the gun, Flynn throws a strike, and Bo catches it on the other end. He probably looked it up or had some of his researchers back in the studio. There's the 10 at the 11. Flynn wants more. Across the middle, he's got his man. It's Davis again. And he's inside the five. Those tight ends now move and shift, and Jones goes out wide to the right. A dive. Hit immediately. Nice closing by John Beeson. Well, Miami's not going to forget about LSU if they can't stop him here on third down and three. They fake the inside handoff. Flynn flares it to a die. Touchdown, Tiger. That's just a great play. And Jimbo Fisher getting it called at the right time. Defense. Extra point by Colt David is good. And with just 18 seconds remaining in the first half, the SEC and the Tigers of LSU have taken command of the game here. When you're lying there, you're only thinking good things. <laughs> he said, what I wanted to think about was how to win this ball game for the seniors because it meant so much to us in this program. So all available in sparkling high definition. Well, Miami is going to have to come up with something at halftime to give Kyle Wright a chance and their offense a chance to counteract what Matt Flynn has done for LSU. Two touchdown passes for Flynn on his first start and a 20 to 3 halftime lead for the Tigers of LSU as we sent it to Reese and the guys in the studio. And the rest of the teammates knew this was going to be going on, so they may have been just sitting back and watching. And then you got Chris Jackson who says, I don't care who's back there, they're not going to touch you. And you know the guys like Warren Sapp and John Billman, and all the guys that came before are sitting there right now going, these guys better show up. And three passes thrown his way, no completion yet. Second and ten. Play action. Right to the man, open right through the hands of Leggett. Bill Jones goes in to take his spot. Olsen, the tight end on the move. Here comes the blitz. The throw is incomplete, intended for Sonoris Moss, and is waiting back at the 40 right now. Not as good a kick. A fair catch called for at about the 47-yard line. At the 47-yard line. Draw play, a die on the inside, takes it into the Canes, into the field, almost to the 47-yard line. Two tight ends in for LSU, both wide outs down to the bottom of your screen. On a second down and four, it's a die again, and he got the corner, and he got the first down. He's run a couple of times for, for, for some big plays. On first down, he loses yardage this time, a loss of about two. He's a very, very good opponent, and they're playing... LSU has played very well. Flynn over the middle, complete. Davis colored and got away. And he's close to another first down. He might have it. Everyone's taking their share of the load so that Matt Flynn can just execute and not have to worry about winning the ball game. That makes a huge difference. That's a great point, Ronnie. And here's a guy that's helping the cause. A dive into the secondary. First and goal, LSU. He just dragged half the Hurricane team with him. And a die stays in there. It's first and goal, Tigers. Now Jones comes out as a wide receiver. And the pitch to a die. Left side, easily touchdown. That play worked on the first play of the ball game, and it worked again for a touchdown.
throws. Extra point. Cole David, nothing good. So what Miami had hoped for was a big drive to open the third quarter. What they see instead is to LSU to go 53 yards and Joseph Adai to add to what he's already done tonight. 27 to 3, Tigers. Chris Jackson to kick. Hester not going to have a shot at this one either. At the 20-yard line, four straight drive that starts for Miami at the 20. Kyle Wright play action. Stretches it out, now he's going to keep it. Boy, that's a big price to pay the way your night's been going. And we're 11-11, we're now in the third quarter. And Jones going nowhere. Oliver, who made the last tackle, makes another. Oliver out of Oklahoma, Alabama. How'd Auburn let him get away with it? Third down and nine. Right with time. Batted down at the line. Trying to go down the middle. I think it would have been Leggett being out. They have two three and outs in the second half. Green's going to take without a fair catch. Trying to get to the corner. And he bounces off tacklers. And he got a nice return. Parker's on the play. Back on the return team, number 23. 10-yard penalty. First down. First down from the 43 yard line. Flynn back to throw. Completes it. Bo's got it across midfield. I don't know where Matt Flynn came up with this game compared to how he played against you guys a month ago, but the kid looks about as cool as you can. Well, right there, maybe not so much. As the ball's up in the air and upper ground. This doesn't lose Sean, but uh, we've got Kenneth Harris coming in, hopefully giving us a some help right there. Of course, McClendon would do well for us too. Third down and short. And they're going to get the first down. So LSU, so we'll be there with you. Thank you. All right, Coach. Mark Rick, head coach of the Georgia Bulldogs. Get the Super Bowl here in the Georgia Dome on Monday night on ABC Sports, 8.30 Eastern time. But maybe it's going to be a face mask on Personal top of it. Foul, face that mask is number 92 on the defense. That's a 15-yard penalty. Bo and Davis, the two wideouts, out to the left. They keep it on the ground with Hester. And he got a couple. But Joe Paterno picked up another award today. Reese and the guys in the studio might have said this, but uh, one of the awards based here in Atlanta, Joe Paterno won today, the Bobby Dodd Coach of the Year Award. Hester out of the backfield. He's got it down first and goal. He wears 85 when he's at the tight end spot. They run the other tight end in motion that way and give it off to Hester in the middle of the pile. The Hurricanes are there to meet him. But if the center gets hurt, he changes numbers and goes back in and plays center. Second and goal. If you're going to do play action, do it here. Nope. Give it to Hester. Let him bang toward the goal line. He's very close. This one is right at the Miami goal line. And it's Flynn, the quarterback. I don't think so. Offside on the defense, number 99. Wow. It'll be half the distance to the goal for deep third down. Kareem Brown. Hester's done most of the work on this drive. He gets the call, and he gets the touchdown. Jacob Hester from a yard or less. I think you and I at Swanee didn't think we'd see 34 points between both teams because of the defenses. Certainly didn't expect 34 to 3 LSU. Well, Kyle Wright is the guy that's going to have to get things Warmed up for Miami because they're running out of time and they're trailing now 34 to 3. Jackson's been a busy kicker and he's kept it out of Hester and company's hands for the most part in the ball game. This time they will return it from the goal line. They haven't broke one tackle, but then he gets taken out of bounds almost by his own guys. Over there. Brought the whole city. We could have filled this place up. The whole state would have been in here if they let us. <laughs> First down play for right, and he throws it in the dirt. Incomplete, and they're going to have to do that again here Monday night. The second down here for the Canes. They'll toss it. Trying to get it wide, and Hester gets what he can. But you'd expect a young team to get better as you go, and I think our guys have. And this is penalty one from the uh, the Big East. That you've won the uh, won our share, a piece of. Bonnie's got a question for you, Coach. After this third and ten for Miami, as they hope to avoid another third and out, uh, three and out, which has been the story of this half. Wright's in trouble, and there comes the defensive line again. 
far as it did the deal for us. Yes. Miami has to punt again. Skyler Green waiting on it. Calls for the fair catch and takes it at the 31. Rich, go have fun. The rest of the ball game. 2005 Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. With Bob Greasy and Lynn Swan. I'm Brad Nessler and our ESPN crew. As LSU is dominating the Miami Hurricanes like I don't think I've seen them dominated. Five yard face year. mask number 19 on the defense. The penalty will be added to the end of the run. The single back spot. And he gets the call. And a nice stiff arm and a good run around the left side. And then he just bowls over Brandon Merriweather. Wow. Getting some work. He maybe didn't expect this much work tonight, but I know he's happy getting it. Puts his head down and again gets forward progress. But this has got to be one of them. This is one of the feel-good stories, as Swanee said, the kid you're looking at right there, number 15. And now it's Carey getting a carry. Well, it's good. Skyler Green's in at the shotgun quarterback position. And here he goes on a quarterback draw. He got tattooed. This will be a 46-yard attempt. He's hit from 47 tonight. Linda Hall, and he's going to keep it and pitch it. Jackson on the corner. First down, LSU. When it's going right, it's really going right. It seems to me like LSU has quite a few athletes on this ball club. I'd say you're right. Here comes another one. Hester again. Their, their minds are somewhere else, let's put it that way. LSU has 251 rushing yards, and they have a commanding lead at the end of three here at the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Miami Hurricanes play this poorly in all the years we've been doing it. Not at this scale, anyway, and a big bowl game. A dive's back in there now, tailback. Flynn. Got some late pressure, floated one out there. Hester almost made a diving catch in the corner. Third down and seven. Flynn throws a little slip screen pass on the inside. It's going to be... Now we'll try it again. 35-yard attempts. Again, Flynn to hold. The kick out of the way, and this one's good, too. Everything's working tonight. Everything's working. 37 to 3, LSU in front. Time for a 30 30 update. Just what these kids had to go through. He said basically, before and after every practice, we had to kind of. That they got together as a team yeah, with the senior leadership and said, we're going we're gonna to put a 10 or 11 win season, maybe get to a national championship for the folks. Doubles right. in, in overnight. And all these people from New Orleans are coming up the back room. Players, players are giving their beds up. They didn't know where their family members were for more than a week. And the whole team came together as a family behind each other to make sure they stayed together and stayed strong. From yesterday, biggest challenge of your coaching career. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Skyler Green, who Swanee just talked about, takes it from the 31. And Skyler Green, Green, across midfield and down to the 47-yard line. They went on to win two other overtime games. In fact, they won five games by four points or less. And now tonight, to put a camper on the season, they got beaten by the dogs, and now they're taking it out on the Hurricanes. Twelve minutes and change remaining as Flynn gives it off to a dive. And he gets to the 40-yard line. Second down of four. Flynn, his first start has been sensational. Getting some pressure here. He's going to run with it. He's got a big opening inside the 30. Slides down at the 21. LSU is minus 10 in the turnover margin. That's 106th in the nation. And they have not turned it over tonight. Hester again on the carry. I mean, that was his first loss right. to Ohio State. In the round, Skyler Green. Green, first down. Oh, he lost the ball. Merriweather stripped it. And Miami can't even find a handle on that. It's still LSU's ball. And Howard Snellenberger really got it turned around. He had it. He was in charge for five years and won a national championship. Oh, he almost had his head taken off. 
because a lot of people think that these two teams could be in the national championship picture next year in the preseason rankings. Another 50-yard field goal attempt. Jackson missed his other 50-yard attempt. He didn't miss this one. Got it. Boy. He's missed one and he's been perfect since, including a couple from long range. He brought in Pete Garcia, who was with Butch Davis at Miami, and then he was at Cleveland. Here in the late stages of the ball game in Atlanta. Look Don't out. That kind of night for Kyle Wright and company. This has got to be embarrassing for the University of Miami. That's not good. Second half, nothing. Trying to get something going to Clarkson Hill. Yep. For the job he's done for LSU as a defensive coordinator. New system, new terminology, great use of the talent he has. Maybe even better results. <laughs> well, the first two games. 29-yard line. They haven't even gotten across midfield. Ball's gone. Monroe, the kick. Late fair catch call by Skylar Green, but he got a call. Takes his family to the greatest places like football games. <laughs> I think, they're, I think they're going to the Falcons game tomorrow. Three major football games in about a three and a half day period. And the folks in Atlanta are up to the task and uh, they have a lot of work to do. And they've already done a lot of work getting ready for the chicken. Yeah, right, right. Lynn, flush, gets rid of it. Actually had a receiver in the general vicinity. And they're still not going to punt. Fake punt again in the round. And he didn't get the first down. I think since 1988. Yeah, 1988 was the last time. Their last win over the Kings hands in, hands. was in 1969. Hard, hard. Devin Hester on the toss. And while this was fun to watch early and it seemed to work, it's not working anymore. Offside defense number 96. Five yard penalty with peak second down. They won the what they went five of their last six or something. Uh -huh. Hester goes down. Nice open field tackle. Yeah. I would have put Indiana before I put Iowa. Uh-huh. Pass lofted and picked off by Zenon. And he comes back for the 33 yard line. I'm sure he didn't think he'd be playing against Miami. If Demarcus Russell had not been injured, we might not have seen, we would have seen Matt Flynn either way if they were playing this well. Hester, boy, tough, tough run, close to a first down. It's not so much what Matt Flynn did, and he did a lot, but it's what he didn't do, and that is turning the ball over, making silly mistakes. But, uh, he'll take that any old day of the week because he's going to have an 11 win season in his first year and they really took care of business in the chick-fil-a peach bowl tonight matt flynn holds it aloft he'll keep that ball i bet if they let him because he's our capital one player of the game and leads his team in his first start and coach miles in his first year at lsu to a 40 to 3 win quite a performance by the tigers and that'll be a pretty popular guy tonight and for maybe months to come on the lsu campus